What's up, fellas? I'm just doing a uh, quick video on. Well, it's all black. On my uh, HT PC build. All the parts. First off, we start with the case, which is a Silverstone PS04B or something. Can't remember really. Got the side panel off. Uh, wiring's a bit. Meh, at the moment, let's try and get some bloody light. Yeah, I've still got to do the wiring on it. So we'll start off our drive, a nice Samsung F3 500 gig. And then this little bundle here. I got from uh, Aria on the cheap. Features an MSI H55MED55 motherboard, which is pretty damn good. It has how many does it have? Six. Oh, I can't see. Fam, six SATA ports, four at the end, and two sticking out the motherboard. Two PCIs, which are on the X8. PCIe 1 and a PCI and then we've got the uh, Mushkin Silverline 4 gig kit and then we have a call a master TX3 on top of the uh, i3540 which is sitting at I can't remember now 4.3 at the moment. Silverstone fan at the back. I haven't got one at the front. Not that you can see. And a little oil free badger. Just a regular standard. Uh, what's it, my Yeah, you know, DVD multi. PSU, a bit more, but it was on the cheap again. IQ 600 watts modular. It's got a quite nice, here you can see, reflective finish. So it appears a bit more roomy than it actually is. I say this cooler, 92mm fan, brilliant. Keeps the i3, does, just does not get hot. And you can see there, my sleeving has failed. This one's alright now. Let's take a look at the back rear I.O. I can get that. Go. So we've got 7.1 VGA DVI eSATA, 4 USB 2.0s, Gigabit LAN, another 2 USB ports, HDMI. A combo PS2 port and the optical out. It's all lovely. <coughs> so just to just see what you can do with a budget rig. Case, uh, what was it? About thirty-four quid. This I got second hand for twenty twenty-five. Hard drive. Uh, I already had it, but they can. Have be had for about 32 quid. This bundle is around 205 quid and it comes pre overclocked to uh, 4.2 and then a DVD ROM that will they they are expensive so it's pretty good. So I'd say for about 300 quid you can have yourself a nice little even this will be if you stick a graphics card in and be a nice little gaming rig, but I'm using this as a HTCP. I'll whack it on and stream some uh, high definition, see how it gets on. But before that, I have to master the controls. Right then, back, we're going to put the uh, HTPC on. Oh, I don't know why it's completely dark. Right, let's get it on. There's the front of the. Uh, I don't know why it's so dark. It's absolutely long. 
Is it a dog? No, not impressed. I've got to set that back down. Low, it just doesn't need to be that high. Power supply is a nice. Oh, you can't even see. You can kind of see it coming off the bottom. Blue LED. It is brighter than it looks on here. Funky mouse. Mm. Well, let's see if I've got any HD uh, films. I shared this, the one with the up one. Oh, great, that's bloody. Uh, let's try that one. I don't, know what, don't know if this. No, it's not HD, but you can see it plays. Oh, that's a good representation, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. Much better. This is just DVD quality, so 480, but it will do HD, no problem. You'll have to take my word for that. Also, stream it over from my PC upstairs. Skip a bit. Right, that's enough of that. Oh, your AC is on. Right then, let's see if I can get in. Well, then that's stock. I forgot I've set it back anyway. So, if I remember correctly, it was 1.347 volts at 4.3. I got it to with a 185 base clock. The GPU was on the uh, chip, was fairly overclocked as well. So, you got 733 there. Would help if I did this thing properly. Mm. I'll have to have a clock to hit. We have the motherboard now. Yes, so anyway, these chips will do, well, most of them, will do 5 gigahertz quite easily. In fact, why don't we have a, a quick go now? Right, there we are. Typical. Right there, 4.2. Well, I've not really used this, so I'm going to not overclock the onboard GPU so much. Where am I going? Cell menu. Oh, no, that'll do that. Ooh. Oh, that's a bit too low. Voltage, voltage. Oh, this is stupid. Max three point. Can we get there? Dun 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 dun. Ratio is at its highest. 4 gigahertz, I'm going to need 5 gigahertz, I'm going to need 200 or something like that. Let's try 200 first. 
that's 4.6 I have no idea what this has set the voltage to it's not the best one Will it work? Ow. Diggy. <sighs> oh, this video is running a tad long, a tad long. Right, let's have a quick look. Oh, piss off. Okey so we got apparently 1.384 volts and we got 4.6 so a 23 multiplier and a base lock of 200 memory's running fine graphics I've kept them right, let's get a validation for this Right then, that about does it. Validate this, and then I'll come back when I can get 5.1, 5.2. Cheerio. Right then, I've just done five. Just tinkered about with it. Wait for it to load up. In time today, it's completely not stable. But that's how we like it. There we go. 23 times 218. At 1.488, which I think is pretty good. So, yeah, I've already validated it. So, that's just to let you know what this chip can do. To uh, 